And what do you like? What would it okay. be? Okay. Yeah. With these blouses, the yellow, the blue, yellow, and gold. I can oh, yeah. Chrome. Yeah, that's really nice. And then the pink, you could. I tried it with purple. Yeah, that it was really lovely. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing. Love it. Like, I love this, like, flowy sort of feel. So I've tried on this fuchsia pink. You guys should know that pink is, like, one of my favourite colours. This black. But I want to actually try the white with it. So let me see. So cool. So I've just left February by Sewa and she was so nice. She studied at KNUST and now she has been um, operating her business for five years now, five years, and she's had that showroom for a year. The showroom is beautiful and there's nice big changing rooms and it's in West Ligon actually. So now I'm looking forward to somewhere that I can wear that outfit but the vlogs kind of stopped for a bit and that is because I couldn't decide if like people wanted to actually watch them or not. We've been here for March, April, June, July, August, September, October, November, five, six, seven, eight months and honestly it has flown in and I have really loved being here and it's not like it's coming to an end. I'm, I do love being here. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. One is land. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and if I ever have a spare 10 minutes, 30 minutes, I feel like the best thing to do is to invest in myself. Knowledge is power, so I head over to Skillshare and Skillshare is an online learning platform with hundreds of classes and they have new classes coming up every week. And currently I am doing the class which is Reach Your Goals, Seven Personal Development Exercises to Build a Life You Love by Nedra Tawab. And the reason why I'm doing that class is because it's a new year and I'm realigning my goals. I'm writing out my vision board and I need to make sure that these goals are hit in 2022. They have all sorts of other classes, how to grow plants inside, how to DJ, learn to be a videographer, be more productive. There is so many classes. And for the first 1000 people that hit that link in my description, we'll get one month free on Skillshare. So you can try it out, see how you like it. If you like it, you can continue on. If you don't, you can cancel and that would be completely free. So you should definitely check it out. Because I've been talking about buying somewhere for the longest time, like I've wanted to, I should say, um, probably for a year now, which is so unlike me. Normally when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it then and there, like uh, there's no messing around. But in this case, <laughs> It's not straightforward and I did actually purchase beach land which I'll go into in full detail in another video but that's still not like our permanent residence and it's also not something that I'm gonna probably be like building on straight away I mean I might start something but it's like not a sort of priority Um I've gone back and forth with so many ideas but where we would actually want to live and our house actually be is too expensive at the moment I should say because it won't be too expensive for us soon because we're gonna work hard and make money but at the moment it's 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 really expensive like to buy land in the area that we actually want to live in where we live so it's just like really difficult decision of like do we keep renting where we are which is um, kind of like on the pricier end because I thought that you know we'd be able to like find land and build by a year and a year is like fast approaching so you know do we stay there do we move into like a cheaper rental which I don't really want to do because the kids are settled where we are um, I went to an event with my sister at the African Futures Institute with one of my favorite architects and I got to wear my new dress. Designing the systems that will make the environment work. So
So right now I am going to get my nails done. The last time I got my nails done, I was um, getting pink because it was my daughter's, I mean they're so blown out. It was my daughter's uh, Barbie party and I wanted to like make an effort. Um, and since then, which was over a month ago, not done anything with them. So I'm meeting my friend Jane. I actually did a video with her at her house in Bellagio. If you've not seen that, check it out. And then um, we're gonna chat, get our nails done. And then today is one of like our busiest days of the week because my son has piano. He also has um, like gymnastics and my daughter also has gymnastics. <laughs> uh, so yeah so that's what's happening then but I also have an event tonight delivered honestly I think we're like the worst people for food delivery as in we use food delivery on a pretty much daily basis but it's nice you know I've gone for something a bit more nutritious today um I've got some avocado salad a wrap and some like vegetables and stuff like that so I'm enjoying this whilst having a conversation about work stuff I have set up for my call and yeah that's me so I've like cleared the background and um yeah just getting ready for the call now with YouTube was Anna as well and I watch her channel a lot and I think this is the world deserved award and um, on her behalf she just wants to say that Ghana is one of the best countries <laughs> in West Africa and will keep producing such talent on YouTube and and for the whole continent I should have brought my camera. Thanks. Please take my camera out. Yeah. Amazing. Bringing Japan to us. Only video. Only yeah. video. Um, Only video by myself. Oh, yeah. When did they start construction? Okay. I'll, I'll cut it, I'll be very, very gentle, right? So where is your eyes? No, see, I've, I've pulled it. Okay, so now pull it forward. Okay. <laughs> no, this is too funny. <laughs> I like it. I actually you love like the sun. The sun? Yeah. Not this one. I need. I need a tan. I've not been outside long enough this week. Should I say? I don't want to be racist, man. Problems of being white. I'm actually not white. But no. Okay. But, ah, but but you said you want a tan. You have yeah. some white blood in you. Yeah, I do. That's why. See, melanin. Okay. I'm just feeling. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm naturally tanned, you know. Oh <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm here, day two of filming this ghost town video, and the beautiful Miss Trudy hey, is here. Hey, on your channel. I know, I'm actually so happy to meet you. Thanks for having me. Um, I love your channel, oh, and I love you too. if anyone hasn't um, checked out Miss Trudy's channel, definitely head over there and your press channel subscribe. Is mm -hmm. Love you guys. And how are you finding it? in comparison to Kenya at this time. What? Oh, it's hot. Oh. Ghana is really hot compared to Kenya. What's the temperature like in Kenya right now? Do you have to wear like a jumper and stuff? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. oh in Kenya? Yeah. Yes, yes. Most, oh. most of the time it's cold in Kenya. Oh, I didn't It's know hot that. once in a while. Okay. Yeah, but most of the time it's cold. So that's why when I come to Ghana, I feel so good. It's like oh, a yeah. you know, for holiday. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. I just need to jump in the pool. And then we, for us, when we go to Kenya, it's more like we go for holidays, yeah? Because like oh yeah, so winter. You, you, <laughs> I know that's like my dad. We go, for, we go for winter holidays in Kenya. <laughs> I, I remember we're in Kenya, and then my shoes were not getting dirty, mm -hmm. and also um, I was not sweating. 
I'm like, oh, what's happened? Where am I? But I'm in Africa, you know. But in Ghana, hey, I feel like showering six times a day. Like. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's I, so I hot. I shower not less than twice a day. Hey, I shower not, not, not less. Say yeah. it again. Not less than twice a day. Oh, okay. Making me feel confused. Sometimes <laughs> time. Yeah. Oh, I actually really have to get to Kenya. Like it looks so beautiful, and um, so many nice places to check out. So oh my gosh, this like I don't know. I actually don't know how Wode wrote me into this sort of act that he's decided to do. Yeah. <laughs> So here I am with Vicky and Della, natural Ghana girl, and we went to um, some awards, mm -hmm. but there was nobody there. So we've come to get Kili mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering, don't judge me, how do you eat it with this? You just put it together? Yeah. Now I that like Della's telling me it's not nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you're like, you're like putting the whole... <laughs> but would you like, well, I have, I have two, so... No, I just like to eat my kelloe like this. Like, I, it doesn't need anything else. It's perfect. Mm. All on its own. Mm. It's good, huh? No, that is so See, nice. See, roadside kelloe is the best kelloe that it finds. Mm -hmm. Especially this place. This place is legendary. It's well known. <laughs> so what's it called? La Bonne Junction. Kelloe. Okay. okay. Don't yeah. send too many people here, otherwise there'll be none left next week. <laughs> no, it gets really busy. Really busy. Because the first time for any kelloe at 4 p.m. I can't decide if I like it with the peanut. Yeah. I thought you were going to say you can't decide whether you like the killer willy. No, 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 I like it. Yeah, good move. I like the killer willy, but I just don't know if it's a bit of a strange like mixture. Mm. I don't put them together. Various categories. We are going to award the educational creator. like this whole room is a bit of a mess but anyway so basically I am traveling to Edinburgh today and I thought I would just vlog the day travel day see how it goes of course I haven't packed I actually have packed the kids stuff need to pack my stuff need to get ready for the day we are going to a birthday party <laughs> I mean I'm actually shooting today going to a birthday party today and then traveling in the evening um I honestly traveling do you know what I don't I don't mind going on a plane I don't mind traveling at all what I do mind is the fact that I'm going from 36 degrees to minus it snow and it's more the clothes situation because I don't really know what to bring and I do have some clothes over there but this whole like because we rented our house out in Edinburgh so really we don't have anywhere to stay we have my my parents house and my husband's parents house and um, where we stayed in the summertime but this time we want to kind of like have our own space so I think I've booked an Airbnb for some of the time a hotel for a bit of the time but we actually brought our flight forward because the UK changes the restrictions every two minutes and we're going to um, one of my husband's best friend's weddings which is one of the reasons we're going back so we needed to get back so basically we moved it forward so that we could definitely get back without having to like go through any more restrictions than there already is. So basically, um, I just don't really know what to pack. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what, what I'm dealing with. I basically have some like joggers and some trousers and stuff, which I'm going to bring. Um, and like some tops and stuff like that. And then like some dresses and stuff. And then I'm obviously packing like laptop, all of my footage because I cannot be leaving that anywhere. Headphones and stuff. This, I mean, I'm just getting started. This, <laughs> this is nowhere near finished. Our plan is to travel twice a year to Scotland. So to see family, friends, all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, I just feel like it would just be so much easier rather than having to like lug everything back and forth. But anyway, we will get there. But for now, this packing situation. I don't even really know what I'm going to be doing. I mean, I'm going to be seeing friends. I'm going to be going to this wedding. Um, but apart from that, I have no plans. And then hopefully I'll be back in time for some like, you know, Christmas celebrations here in Ghana, in Accra. So 
So this is literally all I'm packing and then I've put my daughter's stuff or is it my son's stuff on that side. So this is actually it. I mean, I just feel like I'm just going to wear like joggers and trousers and like gym wear the whole entire time. But I've brought a couple of outfits for if I go for like dinners and stuff like that. Happy New Year! Here I am on the beach in Scotland. It's actually really nice. Like I've decided I really want to be more healthy. So I've decided to go for a walk, which is very unlike me. But here we are. Cold, but at least it's the sea. Not long till we go back. But it's been nice. Um, me and my husband got COVID again. He got COVID in the summer as well last time we came. Honestly, I feel like everyone in the UK has it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so that meant we had to spend 10 days in quarantine in the Airbnb. Um, and now we've just been spending time between my husband's parents' house and my parents' house. And I'm trying to figure out going forward, like in the long run, where we should stay because we rent our house out, so we obviously can't stay there. I'm trying to think of like a forward plan, you know, should we get an Airbnb or something that we can stay in when we come? Look at the sky, so nice. So I've been looking into that, I've been trying to look at flats, but because it's the festive period, just everything's closed and I've not been able to have any viewings. Um, but I don't know. It's just like a time of reflection and planning the future, but I'm so, so grateful to see another year. Um, so happy to have my family around me and looking forward to the life ahead and what life is going to bring to us. Better go and get my dog and my son.